Welcome back. Are you hungry? Because we are. It is time for a little seafood. And joining us now is Chef Aaron Black of PV Catch Seafood and Raw Bar. We're so happy to hear have you here. Yes, great to have you here. And we're going to help him out a little bit. Going to help the good chef make a Mediterranean tuna. So let's get going on some of these. Sounds right. complicated, but it's not. It's really not. It's a pretty straightforward dish. Right. Um, we've got some yellowfin tuna that was caught off of Fort Pierce. Nice. Um, we're going to pair that with some Castle Veltrano olives from Spain. It's a really uh, a mild olive with a kind of a creamy finish. Okay. Uh, we've got some grilled red onions. It's going to give us some sweetness and a little bit of smoke. And then some crispy Idaho potatoes. So get going. Excellent. What do we do first? All right. All right well, enough? I think we'll be all right. We're going to okay. put a little butter in there. <laughs> all right. Okay. I think you have three little slabs right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that'll, uh, now the, the, the trick with things like tuna is you just want to kind of get it good on both Sear sides it. and then that's about it. Sear yeah, it. you want a really high heat pan and just get a little texture on the outside. It's going to give it a, a little uh, nice caramelization flavor. Yeah, is there a certain degree it should be cooked to? Um, I like it just seared. Just seared, you know, okay. I, I think okay. that the, the... It's one of those where you can kind of get away with it being obviously raw. All right, so we're going to pretend for TV's sake that our, our butter is melted here. Let's We've got a. There. Hop to the you. next yeah, step yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of garlic in there and let that toast a little bit. All right. um, you always want to take the time to let your garlic uh, become fragrant so it's not too strong. Mm -hmm. We don't have that time, so we're just going right. to go with yeah, it. Yeah, that's all right. And while you're doing that, you know, you can brag a little bit about uh, what the uh, Palm Beach Post, uh, the critics there, voted, voted you the, the best raw I mean, bar. Nice last things year. to say about y'all. Nice. Yeah, well, we've, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> and we've got some really great oysters coming in for the boat show this week. We've got Kumamoto's, Kushi's, Balloons. Oh, so you guys are ready. Y'all will probably be serving a huge crowd. We are ready. We okay. are definitely ready. All right. Good. And so, this is going to be on the menu, no doubt. Absolutely. This oh, I is smell the garlic. One of our That's most popular stuff. dishes, for sure. So, so here's your cooked product. Yeah, we've seared this ahead of time so we didn't get too smoky in here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to slice this up. Sharp knife goes right through. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Again, sure. seared on the outside and a uh, nice pink color on the inside. Absolutely. Beautiful. So, so pretty. We're going to lay this out here. And, uh, well, you know what? We're just about out of time, but uh, we will continue doing this. And then maybe during the break, we can uh, partake. A little bit. I have a little okay. salt that you're sprinkling okay. over. We do want to let our viewers know, though, that the recipe is online. You saw it for yourself. So, so easy to make. Maybe uh, we'll do that this weekend in my household. That Again, WPTV.com to find that recipe. Chef Aaron, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks All for right. having me.